Stadium in Cincinnati. Thanks again for listening. I'm Ramblin' Rob. Hope you enjoyed that little bit of blues there. I always enjoy a little blues coming in. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we hear that sound. It's the one and only great story ever told. We're here with special guest in studio. We're going to have him all squared away here soon, having Ray made it in here. I heard that apparently he kidnapped, was kidnapped by aliens, but got out of that little predicament. I might talk to him about that a little bit later. And uh, Taper Jess will be in here in a little bit to uh, let you guys know what's happening. Got some good stuff. I'm going to buy a little cleanup tonight, I think. Uh, play some stuff maybe that uh, I haven't played in a while. Um, maybe. Maybe not. Uh, but uh, you never know. Uh, we're going to start out with a little um, hmm, Grateful Dead on the plate, of course. Uh, a little Jerry Garcia band later. Got some traffic. Throwing in as a special little surprise for Jordan's Jam. And then... Uh, a little more grateful that, of course. So, without much further ado, let's uh, get on with a little music here. We're going to start out with the uh, Cream Puff War. Since we're doing the uh, Jerry Garcia week this week, uh, you know, on uh, that unfortunate week before, you know, his death and his birth there, we're going to uh, feature some good stuff by Jerry. This Cream Puff War, if my memory serves me right, which sometimes it doesn't, um, if, I, if I remember well enough, I believe this is one of the few songs that Jerry Garcia actually wrote by himself. Uh, most of the times, uh, you know, got old Bob Hunter involved, for better, I will say. Uh, but yeah, rarely did they play this tune, except for the first couple of uh, months that they were on the road. So we're going to get into that Cream Puff War. WAIF has a community radio station that serves only to open its airways to responsible, divergent points of view. The opinions expressed on this program do not reflect those of WAIF, other staff, board of trustees, or programmers. The opinions expressed are my own views or those of my guests. And like I said, I've got Evan Ray. He's going to be uh, warming up the old guitar here in just a little bit for you guys. And when we get back, we're going to let you guys know about what happened in today in Grateful Dead history. Give a couple shout outs. The weather report, like I say, great little Jordan jam in the second half of the show. I'll let you guys know what's happening. We've got some great musical guests coming in studio over the next couple months. Just uh, got the Infinity Project on board just this week uh, for a November slot. If you guys don't know them, uh, they're kind of a, an original hippie hop Cincinnati, Cincinnati kind of style of music. Original, I know that's what I kind of like. Stuff that uh, you don't see. And actually, they played down at the uh, Grateful Dead Fourth of July. At Washington Park. So, yeah, I got to see them down there. It was a good time. Uh, don't forget, Ramble Rob has a Facebook page and also a YouTube channel. Find me there. Uh, did some analytics. I actually uh, was amazed to find out that people from 97 different countries uh, have watched my videos on YouTube. For better or worse, I don't know why. But, uh, yeah, I went through the list. 97 different countries have watched and checked out my show. I appreciate that. So, big shout out to all you listeners. A lot of listeners, apparently, in Australia uh, and Sweden. And uh, I forget the other ones. There were a lot of them. But, yeah, a lot of them, you know, accidentally got on my video and watched it three seconds. But, yeah, YouTube has some amazing analytics. I can tell if you're male or female, where you're watching it from, how you got referred to it. Yeah, so yeah, creepy stuff. Creepy analytics out there, guys. Big Brother's watching. So is you too. Okay, well, uh, let's get on with some music here. Um, don't forget September 17th. Good event there for, uh, for helping out the homeless in Cincinnati. Come and bring a I think it's a bring some money. Kick it in for some uh, homeless people's food stuffs and clothing stuffs. Uh, also, we're going to be entertained. Yes, it's Lyle's birthday bash. So contrary to... Contrary to... Uh, the best opinions of scientific researchers across the country, they will be serving alcohol at this event. Um, Emily and the Lost Cat Ramblers will be showing their ugly little heads down there. They were just in studio two weeks ago. Uh, Evan Ray, of course, will be there. Nick Sudbury, Lyle, Smiling Joe, and Paradigm Shift. All musicians here have uh, shared their beautiful faces here on the greatest story ever told. So a big shout out to all those guys. Okay, uh, I said I quit rambling a couple minutes ago. Let's start out with that cream pie four. Uh, like I said, this is a rare one, 1966, on the uh, 29th of July, the PME Garden Auditorium up in Vancouver, British Columbia. And this was one of those uh, fun little British Columbia Trips festivals, yeah. Uh, back in 1966, LSD was still legal back then, so you could have little parties called trip festivals in a cup when you kick down the door and throw you in jail. So, all right, guys, 88.3 is what you're listening to, and I'm Ramblin' Rob.
No, ma'am. We're musicians. Cannonball! Cannonball coming.
We have clearance, Clarence. Roger, Roger. What's our vector, Victor? Now our radio clearance, over. That's Clarence, over. Over. Roger. Huh? Now, George Jansen. Traffic. 1917. Santa Monica, California.
alive. It's alive. It's alive. This is a top to a, you know, what we use on stage, but it's very, very special because if you can see, yeah, the numbers all go to eleven. Look. Right across the board, oh. 11, oh, 11, and most of 11, and then amps go up to 10. Exactly. Does that mean it's louder? Is it any louder? Well, it's one louder, isn't it? It's not 10. You see, most, most blokes are going to be playing at 10. You're on 10 here, all the way up, all the way up, yeah. all the way up. You're on 10 on your guitar. Where can you go from there? Where? I don't know where. Exactly. What we do is if we need that extra push over the cliff, you know what we do? Put it up to 11. 11, exactly. One louder. Why don't you just make 10 louder and make 10 be the top number and make that a little louder? These go to 11.
sex may be shallow, but at least they have tolerance and respect for all people.
Mary Jane. Really?
you guys are just tuning in you guys missed a little bit yeah you guys missed a little cream puff war from 1966 and then we rolled into run for the roses 1989 from Nassau Coliseum 95 also we had uh, Jordan's GM 40,000 headmen from 1972 a great little tune by traffic out in Santa Monica California and um did uh, since we're in the days between Jerry's birth and death, we did a uh, days between, of course, from 1993, August 22nd, Autzen Stadium, Eugene, Oregon, and then uh, yeah, we played a, a song. Uh, so I think Taper just wanted to hear that tune. Of course, it was my brother Esau. Uh, more on that in a little bit. Uh, 1983, the Olympic Arena, Lake Placid, New York. Not a good time for the boys, in my opinion, uh, as far as playing or uh, lyrically, as far as Jerry's voice. But uh, not a bad version of my brother Esau. Uh, and then that road Jimmy you guys just tuned in for was 1976, June 29th. Auditorium Theater, Chicago, Illinois. Uh, we're going to do a couple shout-outs today in Grateful Dead History in just a little bit. Uh, but first, uh, we're going to do a little bit of the uh, promos and PSA. So uh, hold on tight, kitties. We're going to have Evan Ray in just a little bit. I try to fit in, but being made out of insects and bugs, it's not easy. They call me invasive species or hungry pests. Anyway, like I don't have feelers. I mean feelings. Sometimes I have to turn the other cheek, from the one made of fries to the one made of beetles. You should think of me as a culinary tourist. I'm just trying to eat my way through Ohio. Your trees and crops, there's so much to tempt me. I manage, thanks to the people who help me get around, mostly on the things they move and pack. Hungry pests? Yeah, I'm hungry. Who can blame me? You do put out quite a spread. I'd ask you to join me for a bite, but there's really only enough for me. <laughs> Hungry pests are invasive insects and pests that threaten to devour Ohio's trees and crops. It's up to each of us to leave Hungry Pests behind. Go to HungryPests.com and get the facts. That's HungryPests.com. A message from the USDA. WAIF-FM Community Radio is solely supported by memberships, underwriting, and grant contributions. Memberships can be attained at any time by calling 749-1444 or 961-8900. Membership is granted anyone donating a minimum of $25 to the real Stepchild Radio of Cincinnati Incorporated. 
Membership includes voting rights at the annual membership meeting. In addition, all members receive our program guide and the WAIF alert. Please make that call today to 749-1444 or 961-8900. Recent increases in smuggling. I try to fit in, but being made out of insects and bugs, it's not easy. They call me invasive species or hungry pests. You know, like I don't have feelers. I mean feelings. Sometimes I have to turn the other cheek from the one made of flies to the one made of beetles. You should think of me as a culinary tourist. I'm just trying to eat my way through Ohio. Your trees and crops, there's so much to tempt me. I manage, thanks to the people who help me get around, mostly on the things they move and pack. Hungry pests? Yeah, I'm hungry. Who can blame me? You do put out quite a spread. I'd ask you to join me for a bite, but there's really only enough for me. <laughs> Hungry pests are invasive insects and pests that threaten to devour Ohio's trees and crops. It's up to each of us to leave hungry pests behind. Go to HungryPests.com and get the facts. That's HungryPests.com. A message from the USDA. WAIF-FM Community Radio is solely supported by memberships, underwriting, and grant contributions. Memberships can be attained at any time by calling 749-1444 or 961-8900. Membership is granted anyone donating a minimum of $25 to the Real Stepchild Radio of Cincinnati Incorporated. Membership includes voting rights at the annual membership meeting. In addition, all members receive our program guide and the WAIF alert. Please make that call today to 749-1444 or 961-8900. Recent increases in smuggling are putting American food sources at risk. People and businesses are smuggling live birds and poultry products to sell online in specialty groceries or outdoor markets. They may think they are simply catering to their customers' tastes, but what they are really importing is trouble. Importing outside USDA safeguards is not only illegal, it threatens American food production. Smuggled poultry products or smuggled birds can bring in diseases such as exotic Newcastle disease or avian influenza, bird flu, into the U.S. We need your help to make sure that what is grown and raised here stays safe from foreign pests and disease. If you suspect a business is importing or selling illegal birds or poultry products, call the Agriculture Hotline at 1-800-877-3835. You can make an anonymous report or find out exactly which products are prohibited. America's food supply is too important to let smugglers put it at risk. Report smuggled birds and poultry products. A message from the United States Department of Agriculture. Start the mosh pit. It's time for the Metal Connection. Total brutality and internal darkness. Death, black thrash, and other genres of metal. The best extreme metal on the planet. That's the Metal Connection every Saturday night from midnight to 2 a.m. The Witchin' Hour. Right here on WAIF 88.3.com.
All right, that was a little bit of what was that psychedelic stuff? Man? That was that was uh, Derek and the Dominoes. Derek Blues and Power the Dominoes from the. Uh, I think it's Derek and the Dominoes live at the Fillmore. 69 uh 69 70 i don't know i gotta be honest i'm not an eric clapton fan but that album is the the entire album from beginning to end is just so hot it's so so hot yeah unfortunately i think you know and i might get a lot of hate mail for this um because i i, I don't know you weren't in here i was checking my uh uh analytics there on youtube had uh old shows were have been viewed by people in 97 different countries oh yeah i was listening to the <laughs> way in, I... so yeah my Make some people in those countries mad, but yeah, I always thought Eric Clapton was the most overrated guitarist in rock and roll. After listening to some of the stuff live, album throughout the decades, different bands, different incantations, I, I just just don't know where people are coming from. I, I mean, everybody always falls back on, but he's a technical genius, eh. or what what have you. Do you want my true opinion of Eric Clapton? My true honest. As long as it's radio opinion. friendly, it is. It's it's radio friendly. It's late enough. Um um. You know what the difference is between a three-year-old and a bag of cocaine? What's that? Eric Clapton won't let a bag of cocaine fall out the window. Yeah, oh. true. Yeah, old Snow knows himself. Uh, you know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I also, at the same time, I also say that the old, uh, old George Harrison's probably the most underrated guitarist in the world. Yeah. Oh, he has those gigantic. He had those jet, like yeah, we like eleven frets for this. Well, he, I mean, or something. He I was mean. A, he was a technical g- good player, but I always say you know you could put on a Beatles tune about anywhere on the face of the planet, and people are gonna know it or sing it or be in English, even if they don't have it as their primary language. They're gonna dance to it. They're just it's yep. just that universal appeal is playing versus like man, he smoked that solo. True, true. You know, I'd rather listen to Jerry. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, 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 I mean. Soloing in general is a little bit of an ego trip. I mean, it has to be just by the definition of what you're doing. You're standing out from everyone else and playing something different. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. But just like with ego, people can get carried away with it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Man. Anyway, uh, we're going to do real quick before we get on with some Evan Ray here in about five minutes. We're going to go through what happened today in Grateful Dead history for you guys. Um, 1966, uh, the... Afterthought, a place up in Vancouver, British Columbia. 1967, Place Ville Marie, an expo. 1967, Montreal, Canada. Ooh, going over the border. 71, Hollywood Palladium, Hollywood, California. That was a full moon during the show, and it was also a full lunar eclipse. And uh, I don't know if 71 or 72 Palladium was a woo-woo show. Remember I was telling you about that? That guy that just woo-woo the whole, I don't know. Let me know. Ramblin' Rob 88.3 hotmail.com or find me on facebook let me know was it 71 or 72 i got them both here i can check them out uh 1974 the grateful dead played at roosevelt stadium jersey city new jersey 1982 st paul civic center up in st paul minnesota and the last time they played on today's date 1989 cow expo amphitheater Sacramento, California, eh? And um, I guess uh, as far as big news, Jess, uh, we had an announcement here recently of uh, Dead and Company. Uh, three of the four, I guess, surviving members are going to be hitting the road with uh, – <laughs> You can say it, man. It's all right. It's stuck in my throat. Here, Hold man. on. Here, man, you need a <clears> drink? Yeah, yeah, here, yeah. It's, yeah, it's stuck yeah. like – it's, like a, it's it. like a it's like a hairball. Deep breath. <laughs> admitting it's the first step right john Mayer, i think is going to be hitting uh with the boys and granted i have seen him and you know i've seen him at tri studios play and he is a good player he's a good backup yeah. and uh he sings well he plays well he looks real pretty um do you really think he sings well i think uh, i think he just barely whispers real close uh, to the microphone well i mean oh, yeah and then he like does that thing with his tongue it's kind of disgusting to watch him sing that is the one that it's horrible man Okay, well, yeah, I didn't re- really pay that much attention to his tongue, but um, hmm, I will now. <laughs> What's going on with that guy? You know, some Keep sort of palsy or something? <laughs> well, yeah, well, well, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but yeah, it's good that the guys are going back out on the road and uh, spreading the love, getting the uh, old wheels, blowing the dust off the uh, con- the Conestoga wagon, getting the old wheels in motion again. So I'm glad that uh, they're back on the road. And We'll see how they do, man. I'll, I'll just leave it wide open. You know, I may not be the biggest fan of it, but, you know, I'm always a naysayer. I've been told I'm a naysayer yeah, on everything. There's but possibilities. The, yeah, there is possibilities. I mean, they may rock out. You know, I, I didn't think they'd do as good on the July 4th weekend as they did. But, uh, hey, anyway. Um, well, it, uh, 
think about all the people that just had the biggest fit because Trey was going to play with the boys. Trey, yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah. And, and they're Ain't all, yeah, yeah, they're all quiet now. They're all like, oh, man, Trey's awesome. Yeah, go Trey. Woo. Yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a good support player, man. Oh, yeah. He may not be the biggest guns, but he just, he's reliable and dependable, and he's, you know, he knew what to play, when to play it. I mean, they weren't going down any dark alleys or doing craziness. For the type of music they play, there's not. I, I don't think there's anybody currently playing that understands that better. Right. Well, you know, I, I'm not comparing Fish to the Dead, but they're awful. They, they take similar approaches with different influences. Yeah. No. Good. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to do a couple minutes of weirdness here to get you guys prepared to talk to Evan Ray. Uh, since it's been that kind of weird uh, type of night here, weird type of day here on The Greatest Story Ever Told, it's 88.3 FM every Thursday. You can check me out and taper just 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, check me out on YouTube. Got a channel with about 160 old shows. Facebook, uh, Ramblin' Raw, that's the name. Playing Grateful Dead is the game. Check out September 17th. We're doing a little benefit here for the homeless. WAIF is going to split the pot with you, too. On September 17th, we're having Lyle's birthday band. Uh, donations available at the door. You guys pony up, help, uh, help feed the hungry in Cincinnati and Ohio. Um, Emily and the Lost Cat Ramblers, Evan Ray, of course, Nick Sudbury, Lyle Runner, Smiling Joe, Paradigm Shift are all going to be making surprise guest appearances. Um, and that night on my radio show, we're going to have Lyle in here and also, I believe, a phone interview with Dave Katz from Acoustic Hookah that night, too. I believe that. I have it on the highest authority that if you bring Lyle banana stickers that night, banana stickers? he's going to do something extra special. I don't even know what a banana sticker is. Lyle knows what banana stickers are. Hmm, hmm, hmm. And how am I supposed to bring them on if I don't All know right. what it is? Yeah, it's, well, a, it's a sticker of a banana. It's a sticker it's of a banana. Sticker. Yeah, it's nothing obscene or anything. No, oh. no. <laughs> All right, well, let's do a little, like I said, five minutes of weirdness here. We're going to... Oh, man, you guys are going to love me for this. We're going to strap on the proverbial time machine headgear here. we got our goofy headgear on. Uh, Evan brought his sombrero down, so he's got that on. He's got a tinfoil antenna on and tuning it to just the right year. We're going back to 1973, the Palace of the Fine Arts, San Francisco, California. Yes, and when I say that, you guys can know. I only mean one thing. Yes, Grateful Dead were taking a little break during that time. They got done playing, went to retire. Everybody but Phil, he decided to come out with his good buddy, Ned. And together, they did something like this. Hey, hey there, boy! <laughs> Man, you got to think, how long has it been? Three, four months? Ten years. Ten years? Man, I got to lay off the peyote.
I try to fit in, but being made out of insects and bugs, it's not easy. They call me invasive species or hungry pests. You should think of me as a culinary tourist. People help me get around, mostly on the things they move and pack. I'd ask you to join me, but there's really only enough for me. <laughs> invasive species threaten to devour Ohio's trees and crops. Leave hungry pests behind. Go to hungrypests.com. That's hungrypests.com. Com, a message from the USDA. Recent increases in smuggling are putting American food sources at risk. People and businesses are smuggling live birds and poultry products to sell online in specialty groceries or outdoor markets. They may think they are simply catering to their customers' tastes, but what they are really importing is trouble. Importing outside USDA safeguards is not only illegal, it threatens American food production. Smuggled poultry products or smuggled birds can bring in diseases such as exotic Newcastle disease or avian influenza, bird flu, into the U.S. We need your help to make sure that what is grown and raised here stays safe from foreign pests and disease. If you suspect a business is importing or selling illegal birds or poultry products, call the Agriculture Hotline at 1-800-877-3835. You can make an anonymous report or find out exactly which products are prohibited. America's food supply is too important to let smugglers put it at risk. Report smuggled birds and poultry products. A message from the United States Department of Agriculture. There you go, guys. Uh, if you know anybody smuggling birds into the country, I would suggest you turn them in. No, 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 no man. I've, I've, I've got a line on some good birds. Do you? Contact me outside of the you show, not me. on Facebook, people. As long as I got a line on some bird smuggled flu. birds. Oh it's, uh, oh, it's extra avian Norwegian flu. Food. couple shout-outs here we'll give uh, the people. Big shout-out to uh, Smokestack Cindy. Also, a uh, big shout-out to uh, Brian, Mary Jo, and Sam. Chris and uh, on the West Coast, Chris on the West Side, and his son. Uh, I was going to play a tune. I got to... Uh, oh, wait. I, well, I'm going to play that next week. I uh, got the Internet. The Internet's kind of sketchy sometimes. It's this technological beast I don't understand. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to uh, try to play some stuff from the west side of Cincinnati next week. And a uh, big shout-out to uh, all my Facebook friends and also Lyle, who's going to be in town terrorizing us yet again. He's kind of like the Godzilla of music when he comes to town. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Lyle! Hide your women. Lock up your liquor. Oh, my God, it's Lyle. No, just kidding. Just kidding, kids. Uh, well, speaking of just kidding, kids, we've got Evan Ray in studio here. We're going to just do a little quick little five-minute interview with him. Evan, thanks for joining us again, man. Thanks for having me back. Uh, no problem, brother. I always appreciate you coming in. This will be, what, your uh, probably third or fourth appearance here? Something like that. I think I've lost track. Yeah, exactly. So I know you've got some big plans for this year. You want to fill us in on uh, your uh, rest of that. I mean, half the year's over, but uh, fill us in on uh, your 2015. What's been happening with you and where are you going? Well, uh, it, it has been a pretty good year up in Columbus. I've uh, had a job where I've been forced to play three days a week during lunchtime for like sandwich shops. So it's like forced me to actually like hear my own music and not have to play the same 60x amount of songs. Right. Because I mean, if anyone's going to get sick of it first, it's going to be me, I promise. <laughs> and I am not going to put those people through it. And, like, as I've been sitting there, I, I, I showed up at this job the first day and just played, like, acoustic bluegrassy stuff. Like, kind of like the last time I was here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, I got so bored that I went and got this tiny little loop station thingy that was, like, smaller than a pack of cigarettes. And then I got bored with that thing, my little one switch. It just seemed boring, so I... Stepped that up and got a little thing with two little switches, and mm. this was just kind of like out of my realm of expertise at first, because like I've just always been the guy who just plugs straight into a DI box into the board and just goes. It takes me no time to set up. But mm. since then, I have built like this crazy looping rig. I have a, I've upgraded yet again. I have a three-track looper now, and uh, since the last time I've been here, it's like a completely different type of sound. Yeah, it was just you and a guitar last time. Yeah, and like. Uh, so things now you've are, got like a, a little more intricate. Yeah, you got like a three-piece band backing you up now with your looping. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good, man. That, that, I was impressed with the equipment. It looks uh, pretty high-tech, considering I uh, don't know anything about guitars or pedals or anything like that. 
And, and you'd be surprised. Like when, once you start figuring out, oh, this does this and this does that, it's all kind of laid out pretty simply. Looks like I something I plug my X-wing in to charge the battery or something. It's pretty big. Oh, it does that too. Does it? Oh, sweet. <laughs> well, I got my X-wing parked out back. Coincidentally enough, charge your phone while you play. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, it's always good. You got any plans of maybe making it in studio later on this year? Um, I have so much material that's just been stocking up over the past several years. And, like, I haven't really had the time to sit down and record it. So I am certain I'm going to do it. And kind of like the approach I was going to take is do, like, a double album, first album release, you know, and have, like, the first uh, disc be, like, all acoustic stuff that Mm -hmm. I wrote forever ago and have the second disc be, like, me playing with other people and some more electric type stuff as well. You need uh, a third disc for looping stuff? A <laughs> special EP. That's yeah, right. There a, you a, go. a bonus release, if you will. There you go. Added value. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, you plan, uh, plan anywhere this year special? Anything uh, on the plate? Um, well, this Sunday, I'll be back down here in Cincinnati again at the Thompson House. Oh, um, there you go. We'll Good. be celebrating Jerry Day. Um, it's me, Twig and Leaf, uh, Nick Sudbury's going to be there and mm-hmm. Mike Conley, who I believe has been in here before. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, I see him a lot. Yeah. He's a good cat, man. I love he, Mike. He's great. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I, I've got a whole bunch of stuff laid out. I will, uh, be back down here again for Northern Kentucky Music Festival at the end of August. And, um, I'm playing Harvest Fest, but, uh, Normal's Harvest Fest up in Medina. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I'm also playing Ohio's Hemp Fest in Columbus. Oh, there you go. There yeah. you go. That's a busy plate. Yeah. Hmm. A lot of good. That's just what comes to mind. I don't have my list. Yeah, I was going to say, you did way better there. than most people that come in here, man. There's a lot of guys don't even know where they're playing, like, <laughs> after this gig in town. Like, they're like one. They're in one gig mode. They know where you're playing next, and after that, it's kind of like a blur. I mean, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> so you did way better, man. Um, <laughs> I know um, you are from Columbus, I guess. So uh, people in Cincinnati, if they want to find you, have you got a Facebook, SoundCloud, Reverb Nation, anything like that? Where, um, uh, I'm, I'm on Facebook at the moment. You can find me under Evan Ray Music. Gotcha, um, gotcha. I'm also all over the archive. It's just kind of scattered. Archive.org. Uh, the easiest way to get a hold of any of my music would be directly through either the Facebook page or just message me personally. There you go. I'd be happy just to give you some if you want to really want to <laughs> listen to it. That makes me happy. There you go. There you go. So um, you mostly play live, and I've seen you play live a lot, and it seems like you always have a really good time. i got actually a lot of your live stuff here on my uh, hard drive. Um, what do you think you like best about playing live compared to you know playing in a studio or a nice sterile environment? It's, it's really the people. It's, it's that interaction, whether you know, you're looking right at them or not. When you close your eyes, you can feel them there. And you can feel them looking at you and focusing in on what you're doing. And, you know, you can really take things to a really particular level when you start communicating with the people who are in the audience. And, you know, they shout out a song that they want to hear. And you know that song. Freebird! And, and you just made that person's night, you know? And that whole thing is the entire reason I keep playing music. You know, that you, you can't put a price tag on that. Well, no, you can't. Some people charge a lot, though. Yeah, they, they certainly <laughs> do. And, you know, one of these days, Rob. Grateful Dad. One of these days. One of these days we'll be paying $115 to see Evan Ray. That's right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Probably not. Evan Probably. Ray and the Rayettes backing him up or something there. It's like the Marvel <laughs> <laughs> so do you have a favorite song that you like doing live i know it's kind of a mix of you know your own personal music that you write and also you know a lot of covers a lot of grateful dead stuff like that do you have a favorite song you like performing live um it's uh it's really hard to answer <laughs> I, I i really have no answer to that question okay. it just it depends on the day and your mood and the weather absolutely and, and man I'll, I, I'll tell you right now i'm not a nut i'm a trail mix mm. all around like <laughs> gotcha. I have one side of the spectrum to the other so you could be pull anything out that. that keeps me focused, and it, it, that's probably my favorite song to play at the moment. Yeah, I was admiring your guitar. What kind of guitar is that? It looks really, uh, it's a really nice looking instrument. I am playing a Breedlove Pursuit. It uh, is made out of red cedar and sapeel. Yeah. And uh, sapeel is that a wood? It's uh, related to mahogany. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. And, it's uh, mahogany's lighter cousin. Yes. Gotcha. Yes. Gotcha. And uh, I, I picked up that guitar and fell in love with it. Mm-hmm. There you go. It was it was just exactly exactly just fit, made what for I you. Yeah. So you got any uh, shout outs here you want to uh, give people or uh, 
good causes, anything like that before we roll out of here? We play a quick tune before we get on with a little Evan Ray. I'd uh, just like to give a shout out to absolutely everybody listening. All right, well, that's good. That covers all the bases. <laughs> yeah, everybody listening. And, you and know, everybody not right, listening. <laughs> everybody not listening, too. Everybody breathing <laughs> oxygen and exhaling carbon dioxide. And that's all right. my friends who up in space. There you go. So uh, speaking out in space, that, that was pretty trippy there, that uh, mm, oh, Phil Ned, yeah. <laughs> Um, last question for you here, because we're running low on time. Uh, do you have a favorite Grateful Dead song? Um, that's really hard to answer as yeah, well. Yeah, I don't ask easy lately, questions, man. This is your fourth time in here, man. You're on the lately, grill. <laughs> lately, I, I would have to say Stella Blue. Oh, man. That song that's... just kicks me right in the feels, man. Yeah, it, I agree. I it, agree. It almost makes me cry every time. Yeah, I agree. Stella Blue is a good tune. I've been listening to that a lot lately. Road Jimmy. And it's just one of those fools. songs that I feel like is going to outlive every last one of us. You know, yeah. when there's no more humans on the planet, Stella Blue is going to come crying like the wind. Yeah, yeah. Laughing no. down there, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, uh, let's get a quick tune on here. We're going to let Evan Ray tune up. And speaking of tune up, tune in each and every Thursday. Uh, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Taper Jess, Ramblin' Rob here, bringing you the best in live Grateful Dead jam bands and regional acts. Uh, Jess, uh, you got a quick little uh, something special to let our listeners know about, I'm sure. I do. I want to tell our listeners that they should tune in to the all-new At The Well Tuesday mornings from 5 to 8 a.m. with Elder Sue Crawford. Elder Crawford brings you the best in gospel music then and now. Mm. Jesus said to the woman at the well, If thou knowest the gift of God, and who is it that saith, Give me to drink? Thou would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. Everyone that thirst, come, drink of the waters freely. Tuesday mornings from 5 to 8 a.m. on WAIF88.3.com. Show I've listened to, but I've never read that promo in my three-plus years here, man. Hmm. It's, Interesting. It, it, it's, it's, it's a tongue twister. It, it is a tongue twister. Wow. Yeah. We're going to have to have Birdman do that one. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to tell Birdman about that. Yeah, man, yeah, man, Chuck. All right, let's do a quick tune here, guys, and then we're going to get on with a little Evan Ray for you guys. These people are hippies. They are occupying a piece of ground in San Francisco's Golden Gate Park, which has come to be called Hippie Hill. They represent a new form of social rebellion. They dress in bizarre and colorful ways. They wear their hair long. Their very name suggests that they are hip, on to something good. They all declare themselves rebels against our society. They like music. The word love is used by them a lot. I promise you a little bit of Evan Ray. He is warmed up, tuned up, and ready to roll. So uh, without much further ado, uh, Evan, uh, if you will.
got sunflower brown walking jingle in the midnight sun. Cause don't bought a drip of silver. Come on, like a crazy quilt stuck out through a dream. I'll know what that one was, a little China cat sunflower there for you. Evan Ray live here on The Greatest Story Ever Told. <laughs> uh, well, we won't let you guys know what we're laughing about. <laughs> no, we won't. No, we won't. No, it's our secret. <laughs> it's our secret. Uh, so, yeah, you guys stick around for the Great Pacific Garbage Patch here. John uh, is in here, and I'm sure he has a just spectacular show for you, as usual. Always spends uh, approximately 128 hours every week in preparation for this, and uh, it's well worth it. So stick around, guys. 10 o'clock. Evan, uh, you got another one for us since you came down here to play? Absolutely. All right. <laughs>
nice man that was nice i really like the uh, new setup it sounds good man i think you're going to be able to do a lot with that really that was the goal <laughs> that was the goal to expand on old strum diddly um well I, th I i think it's working quite well man i like the new sound it well, sounds I, like i can still do some strum diddly um too yeah true true it's, it sounds like you got like a backup band there you're going man i'm telling you it sounds really good on radio. yeah yeah i'm impressed so yeah speaking of impressed uh you got some more songs you'd like to impress cincinnati with no, I'm all out of tunes, yeah, yeah. man. I played I'll all three, I know. I'll do one more. One more, all right. Check, check. Check, check. Woo, let's play, yeah! Put your clothes back on, girls.
It's bringing me down I'm running aground Blind in the light with the interstate cars Passing me by The buses and semis Plunging like stones from a slingshot on Mars But I'm here by the road Bound to the low I picked up in 10,000 cafes and bars Along with the rush of the drivers who won't pick me up The highway, the moon Clouds and the stars. Black throated wind keeps on pouring in. Speaks of a life. Nothing is new. Our mother, the American eye, come to life. And I'm drowning in. Forget. Tried to pretend it came to an end Cause you weren't the woman I once thought I'd met Now I can't deny Time's flown by Didn't have doubts Thoughts of regret
carry your pain wherever you go. I follow the blues and try and lose. You ain't gonna learn what you don't wanna know. So I'll give you my hands. No, they're lies. Please help them to learn. Threaded win there by Evan Ray. Thank you very much, man. I guess you kill still still can kill it strumming. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> that's good. But yeah, I, I really like the new setup, man. I, it almost uh, when I see you know how far you've came just with that setup in just a short time, man. It kind of chokes me up. It's like, man, this this kid is 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 good, man. I'm really really glad you Thank came you. down here, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome, man. I, I, it's really it, good to be back here too. This is one of like the first places I ever like really, you know, was like, hey, listen to my music. Yeah, yeah. and we did, and you kept coming around, <laughs> and I couldn't get ready, and you knew my damn address. You came around. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's always good to have you on the air here, man. It's always, you know, an open invite to you, uh, you know, be it coming over to my house and playing, coming to my house and hanging out, coming to the station, studio, what have you, man. Always an open invite to Evan Ray. Find him on Facebook, Evan Ray Music. You can uh, let him know you heard him here on G Set. And also, uh, G Set. Oh, uh, yeah, you like that little abbreviation? <laughs> I'm tossing around either G set or Ramblin' Rob. The Ramblin' Rob show is much. That's what everybody calls it anyway. It's it's right. The greatest Ramblin story Rob ever told. It's a little cumbersome as oh, far dude, as a that's title. That's money right there. Ramblin' Rob and the G set. Yeah, G set. Yeah, I abbreviate it because I'm a lazy hippie. <laughs> that sounds like a band name. You but see, what I just said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but see, as a taper man, I mean, whenever I got tapes, they had G set on it. I always knew it was the greatest story ever. You know, I mean, it's just an abbreviation to me as a taper and stuff, tape collector. So, <laughs> oh well. Uh, we got about uh, four minutes, five minutes. You want? You got anything else, Evan? Oh, yeah, I can, okay. I can phase you out again. You're gonna get a little uh, here's Evan original, Ray here to a fade out. Well, that's trippy. That's really loud. This one's, one's called, called Kick Rocks. <laughs> True story. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you very much, Evan Ray. All right, find him on Facebook, kids. Uh, I'm sure you'll be tickled pink. Stick around here. Great Pacific Garbage Patch has a, a sugary, I believe, up here first. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, he knows how to make you stick around. So uh, we'll be checking you out in about nine minutes for some just sheer craziness here on WAIF 88.3 FM. Out, people.